Hi there, and welcome to today's mathematics class. Now, for this, quest for this particular class, we'll be trying to look at how to solve questions of this nature. Now, these are questions on summation. What we have that this, what you have here, this, what I have here, this, is called sigma, right? Now, sigma is the, mathemat the mathematical symbol for summation. That means I'll be doing some kind of summation there. But what does this one exactly? What do, what do they mean? Now, here's how this works. To evaluate questions of this form here, we'll be doing the summation, the repetitive summation of this particular term, such that the variable, which in this case is, is x, would start, will be taken as 1, and then will be increased until we have 4. So for each of the summation we are doing, we're taking x as the, the number here, until we get to the number here, and then we stop. Now, note that the numbers we are taking are actually integers, which means they are positive or negative whole numbers. So I'm starting from 1, and I'm, taking, and I'm taking positive whole numbers from 1 till 4. So positive whole numbers from 1 to 4 would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is the concept. So in essence, for, for this summation here, I'll be replacing the value of k for each summation. We'll put k as 1, okay? Put k as 2, put k as 3, put k as 4 into this particular function, and then we'll sum them up and see what our final answer will be. So with that said, let's solve this. In essence, this will be equal to, my first term will be 3k. 3k means 3 times k. That becomes, in brackets, 3 times. I'm taking my first term here, which is this which is 1, so 3k becomes 3 times 1, plus 1, so I have plus 1, that's my first term. Remember you're doing summation, sigma, so it becomes plus, I repeat the same term, that becomes 3k, which becomes 3 times, I'll take k now as my second term, which is 2, then plus 1, so plus 1. In essence, the only thing that is changing is just the variable. All other thing remains the same, all right? Plus, I'm done with 2. Let's now take k as 3. 3k becomes 3 times k, which in this case, k is now 3. That becomes 3 times 3. Then we have plus 1. So I have plus 1. Then plus, my final term is 4. Now, we are stopping at 4 because the upper term here is 4. So in essence, if this term was 5, would continue to 5, 6, and as it may be, all right? If this term was 5, we'll stop at 5. But since they give us 4 as the highest term, we'll stop at 4. In essence, 3k plus 1 now becomes 3 times k in this concept now is, or in this particular case, is 4. They will add plus 1. All right, so basically, this is how this is done. My task will now be simplify this. Simplifying this, this is equal to 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1, so plus 1, plus 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1, plus 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1, plus 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1. So I have this. Let's simplify further. This is equal to 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 12 plus 1 is 13. Let's try to get this done. So if we try to get this done, this will be equal to, I have this as being 4 plus 7, which is 11. 11 plus 10, that's about 21. 21 plus 13, that's about 34. In essence, the answer to this question is 34. So basically, this is how we solve this question on summation. Now your tax is simple. With this same concept, try to provide summation for this. Of course, we know that we can see that for this case here, for the B part, the biggest value of K is 5. Hence, I'll be taking K as 1 and as 2 and as 3 and as 4 and we'll stop at 5. So let me give you a hint. I will just provide the first two terms. For this one here, your first two terms will be K or will be 2. This is 2 raised to power K. So I'm taking the first k as being 1, so it becomes 2 to the power 1, plus, take the second term, that becomes 2 raised to the power k, k is 2, this, 
All right. So you complete this, solve it, and then leave your answer in the comment section, and I'll tell you if you're correct. Okay? So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. All right? Like this video, and of course, share this video to your friends. Don't forget to leave a comment. All right? Comment the answer to this question in, or leave the answer to this question in the comment section, and I'll tell you if you're correct. All right? Thank you, and see you in our next class.